The behavior of orcas around us differs depending on their habits and mood. Some orcas don't even let us take photos, while others come to the boat themselves and observe us with keen interest. They often swim just behind the propeller, maybe because they like air bubbles tickling their skin. Other times they come to the drifting boat, probably just out of curiosity. But in one respect, the friendliness and intelligence of these animals has backfired for them. Orcas are now one of the most popular stars of oceanariums, and in recent years there have been several attempts to catch them in Kamchatka waters. In 2003, more than 25 orcas were encircled by a net in Avacha Gulf. There were members of several pods, including hookies. The catchers had no experience of orca capturing, and as a result, several animals became entangled in the net. One entangled animal, a young female, drowned.
another young female was captured and lifted to the deck. After a short stay in a makeshift net in Navacha Bay, the captured orca was flown to the Utrecht Dolphinarium on the Black Sea, where she also died. Since then, there have been more permits awarded every year in Russian waters, with more failed attempts to capture orcas. It is no wonder, because many foreign oceanariums are willing to pay about one million U.S. dollars for a captured orca. Of course, many people want to observe these wonderful animals close up, but for orcas, an oceanarium or marine zoo is a prison. It is much better to watch orcas in their natural habitat. In the wild, orcas will show you all their tricks by free will, not by a trainer's whistle. Whale watching is growing all over the world and has recently started around Kamchatka. Besides orcas, you can also see other marine mammals here. Dals and harbor porpoises are local residents. Sperm whales and minke whales frequent these waters, and once we were lucky to see a group of Baird's beaked whales. These large toothed whales feed on squid, diving to great depths. Larga seals, our curious neighbors along these shores, are always watching us. The underwater world of Avacha Gulf swarms with life, but its ecological balance is delicate. The species inhabiting these waters are connected by complex links, and breaking any of them can threaten the entire ecosystem. Orcas are vulnerable because they are top predators in the marine food chain. Orcas are few in number and have slow growth and low breeding rates. Threats, such as pollution and depleting of fish stocks, can affect their future survival. When the numbers of some fish species were reduced by overfishing here, orcas started to search for new food sources. In the Ohotsk Sea off western Kamchatka, Orcas now steal fish from long lines and bottom nets, attracting fishermen's anger. This is only one sign of the disturbance of the natural balance. We need to think carefully about our activities if we want to keep Kamchatkan nature in a relatively pristine state. At least for now, we are happy to report that orcas continue to cut through the waters of Avacha Gulf with their sharp, pointed fins.